नमस्ते आदाब सत श्रीकाल एंड अ वॉम वेलकम टू एवरीबडी एट टेड एक्स बी बी सी ओ ई माई नेम इज़ खालिद वारी बिफोर आई बिगिन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क आर ऑडियंस इज़ अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन आई वुड रियली अप्रीशिएट इफ़ यू गुड रेज यूर हैंड्स इफ़ यू अग्री एंड इफ़ यू डोंट अग्री यू गुड रेज द सेम हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हेयर हैव हैड स्ट्रीट फूड इन द लास्ट वन वीक गॉड अ लॉड ऑफ पीपल and how many of you are worried that you will fall sick the next day from the same street food that you eat that's about say 40% of you guys right so let's uh, picture this okay just imagine you're going to the same street again but this time the food that you consume won't make you fall sick would you have it you have to raise your hands or probably just say yes perfect okay uh i'll start a bit about with my background um i come from kashmir uh i was born there but uh, i was raised in delhi so when we moved to delhi we had a lot of struggle especially in terms of finances and while growing up uh, we knew that you know that uh, it was always a hand to mouth situation for us and the only joy that i could find was in that one bite of a samosa that gave me the pleasure and that is something that a lot of you can now relate or resonate to a momo right so it's something that was very near and dear to me because it was also something that was very affordable for us and we came from a very poor family background so for us the ac- access to the expensive food wasn't really possible so i stand here today as a testament uh, to the possibilities that life can unfold uh, from where i was to where i am today 75% of our country consumes uh, street food every month and um and you have you ever wondered you know that uh, these uh, street vendors they are they are the unsung heroes because at the end of the day they're trying really hard you know to provide you that street food with whatever skill sets they have and 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 their struggles are a part of a bigger problem of uh, unemployment in the country and uh, it's like uh, finding a needle in a haystack haystack representing the job application and needle representing the employment that joblessness is not just confined to the educated people it's also uh you know uh, plagued by the uneducated ones and uh, we have seen that you know a lot of people who are highly skilled and educated don't end up finding jobs leave alone people who don't have education or skill set so it you know this is in turn uh, it it represents a bigger uh, issue of economic empowerment and uh, this is a grave problem uh, haunting our nation today so but don't worry you know don't fear because i'm here i'll be the superhero and uh, i come bearing a recipe for change and the change is we'll talk about it i present to you a revolutionary business model uplifts not just those on the lower rungs of the socio economic ladder also tra- transforms the employment landscape of a great nation i present to you the samosa revolution and you will wonder what samosa is imagine few a future where almost everyone is self employed this model is inspired by uber but this time the word is street food so we want to change the monopoly create a level play field for everybody to have the same opportunities chances to earn a living you know getting rid of barriers like language demography income with a shared economic model where we would like everybody to support everybody who comes together to support one another i aim to achieve two things one being generating employment and second being standardizing the indian street food by providing quality so the toughest part uh, you know that uh, these wonder uh, these uh, vendors face or or anybody who wants to be self employed is the first step they're not able to take the first step they're hesitant they're worried so we come on board to try and help them and you need to remember that 
today's consumer is extremely extremely well aware whereas the street hawker the vendor he's not aware because he's just focused on making the food and selling so to keep up with the consumers knowledge for him we want to be their knowledge partners we want to educate them inform them what the latest trends are how to go about sustaining in a competitive market you know we 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 propose mass production of uh, delectables like samosas momos fries spring rolls and many other alike condiments that you get on the street vending shops so you know there's no better time than today when india is rising in global entrepreneurship ranking it's like hitting two birds with one samosa or a momo at a time drum rolls if we may i present to you the revolutionary business venture model which i highlighted earlier samomosa you must be wondering what samomosa is right okay i'll answer that it's an innovation it's a fusion of a samosa and a momo imagine a samosa and a momo were married and they gave birth to a samomosa so it's basically a triangular shaped product which when steamed becomes a momo which when fried becomes a samosa and you know this innovation symbolizes the amalgamation of cultures flavors and communities because but with more spices less awkward communication through this venture it opens doors to housewives street vendors and freshly graduated who wish to work in their free time one platform for all the food lovers to make into a sustainable livelihood we are not only uplifting the individuals but also the communities fostering cultural fusion and mass employment generation which is what the idea or this movement or this revolution is all about we want to make a change because i while growing up did not have resources and i wish to give back and share the same resource with everybody else to help others grow in their life it's a selfless act that i would like to do it's like you know you're turning the heat up on the opportunity and letting them simmer down to perfection this is not just about business but it's a moment as i highlighted earlier it's literally going to change and transform we are not just providing jobs but contributing to the economy one hawker at a time some almost a revolution isn't a one way street but a two way journey where we all grow together it's a huge family where everyone brings something to the table and not one leaves hungry or unemployed in short we're building a community where everyone has everyone's back our eyes are on the aim which is the put positive potential the launch of this transformative venture is imminent this is a revolutionary change which will start a new era job security which is one of the biggest concern amongst people in our country today and we would like to promise with the commitment of this model we're not just cooking up dreams you know we're not just cooking it up but we are providing you with something good on the side which is the economic stability so i want to leave you lovely folks with a saying from this favorite uh, rapper of mine his name is divine uh he has this saying he has this really popular saying in one of his raps which says if your passion is not paying for your bills that passion is not worth it so we wish to bring in that change in our society by helping people make their passion into a sustainable living so we're launching soon and in, we invite you all to come together in this culinary and economic adventure let us imagine the future where the aroma of the street food reminds you of resilience creativity and unity that smell itself should remind you even after generations 
when I am not here or probably your future grandchildren children are around to experience this revolution. Thank you and remember, when life gives you lemons, have it with a samosa. Thank you so much.